The Baltic Sea is one of the busiest waters in Europe. At any time, 1,500 ships navigate the Baltic Sea and connect the nine countries that border it. Reliable ship systems are one key factor to reduce the risk of collisions and groundings that threaten this economically and ecologically sensitive area. Global navigation satellite systems, called GNSS, are the primary source for position and time information on board today. Outages of these systems and signal interference are serious threats for the shipping traffic. Therefore, a backup solution is needed to reduce the dependency on that single technology. One promising approach is ranging mode, a terrestrial positioning system also referred to as R-mode, which utilizes existing maritime radio infrastructure for the transmission of synchronized ranging signals. To show that this technology can fulfill the user requirements for a backup system, the Interreg Baltic Sea Region project R-Mode Baltic aims to set up the world's first permanent R-Mode testbed in the southern Baltic Sea. The R-Mode signals will be implemented in the shore infrastructure of the coasts of Germany, Sweden, Poland and Denmark. Eight marine radio beacons and four base stations of the very high frequency data exchange system called VDES, which are synchronized to 10 nanoseconds accuracy, will transmit ranging signals. Each R-Mode transmitter type will enable positioning in the overlapping R-Mode service areas. The combined utilization of both transmitter types enlarges the area in which R-Mode based positioning and timing is possible. Experts from four Baltic Sea neighboring states under the leadership of the German Aerospace Center are working together to find best approaches to synchronize the R-Mode stations and to implement R-Mode service on marine radio beacons and VDES space stations. They have to find the right balance between the best possible R-Mode performance and undisturbed continuous operation of the existing maritime services. Static and dynamic tests have shown that adding continuous wave signal components to the radio beacon transmission and the broadcast of newly designed VDES messages allow ranging within the station service areas without influencing their original functionalities. The project team is first developing an R-Mode ready VDES base station and two R-Mode receiver prototypes for shore and onboard equipment. Both consider the revised Ayala VDES standard, which enables future R-Mode transmission. The e-navigation strategy of the International Maritime Organization requires a robust provision of position, navigation and time data, called PNT data. Robustness may be achieved if PNT data processing uses signals provided by independent radio navigation services such as R-Mode and GNSS. The project team follows this strategy by implementing a seamless switch from GNSS to R-Mode based positioning in case a degradation or outage of GNSS signals occurs. A portable pilot unit uses the approved PNT data to provide pilots with reliable position information. The developed testbed, receiver and application show that our mode is able to support marine navigation and make sea traffic more safe and reliable. The project paves the way for our mode standardization and worldwide adaption.